going to take you on a little tour of the Acoustic Research XA. Um, first things I'd like to point out is that a stylus on here it is indeed worn out but the cartridge as you can see is a Pickering XV15 very good cartridge <clears throat> the counterweight is absent I do not know what happened to it there is a slight bit of corrosion I've tried cleaning it with some soft soap I might try cleaning it a little bit more um, my guess is that's probably where the counterweight sat and it maybe got a little corrosion from that. I would say that the table turns a little slow. Um, the belt's a little stretched out. I'll show you after it gets up to speed and I take off the... Whatever this is called, my brain is uh, absent on that right now. The vinyl tray, the record tray. Um, I believe that there's a label either here or here that's missing, as well as that one. I think you can see a little bit of residue from where it was. Did have the uh, Acoustic Research logo. Um, as you can see, this case is in immaculate shape I do have the bottom off right now um, here's the bottom of the bottom that way I can show you the inside uh, there is some impact that it took right there but you see it's pretty flat and pretty sturdy um, no, it doesn't give too much. Um, there's the warranty card. And there's the model number, serial number. And the inside. You can see it's not got any water damage or anything like that. Mm, the dust cover is busted they don't usually survive those are just the screws for the cover in there I'm gonna take a moment to turn this off and remove the plates As you can see, I do believe the um, belt is a little overstretched and we need replacing. It does feel a little dry for the plastic. And See the bearings in great shape. I'm going to take the tone arm. Let me unplug it first, actually. Yeah, I'll show you the motor spinning.
Now it makes a little sound right now, the bearing does, but that sound is pretty negligent when the belt on the pulley. I guess that's because it doesn't have the extra weight. I'm sure if you're an expert with these models and you're going to rebuild it, then you'll know what the situation is on that. Uh, let's take a quick gander here. Unit on its back side. So you can see the cords and very good shape. Springs. Motor's very nice and clean. Got the Hayden motor on there. Should be the original motor. Focus back. The capacitor to the switch. So you can see it's a very nice unit. Um, I hooked it up to my stereo. I don't, my receiver does not have a phono preamp I guess you would call it I'm not well versed in turntables as you can see um let me get that real quick don't want tension on that cable um I had to hold the tone arm over the record the pickup did come through um I was able to get transference to the stereo. It was obviously light because it wasn't amplified on my receiver. Uh, but I did have sound travel through the tone arm and out the inputs. Outputs. Um, I'll show you the power cord. Oh, no, this is the RCA cord. Stereo cord, whatever. <laughs> You'll probably get a good laugh at my video documentation of this and want to correct everything I say. A little tiny snag there, but nothing goes through the cable. little bend on the there you have it very nice very clean easily serviceable acoustic research research XA for you needs a new stylus needs a counterweight needs a new belt um there's probably a bushing that goes there uh it was dried up i took that out so that you know obviously probably needs to be replaced as well so bushing belt counterweight stylus 
and you've got yourself a top-notch condition. I cannot guarantee that this motor is not weak. Um, from what I've, from the research I've read online, um, what will typically cause the turntable to turn at a slower RPM is the belt not set, not being either too loose or too tight. Um, you know, that's, I can't make a guarantee that the motor's at the right RPM. Um, you saw it turning. I'll actually, uh, connect it back up and give you one more go at it. Yeah, one more reason I'm pretty sure the belt is, um, over is uh is a little too loose is that i think it's supposed to go on the higher setting there the higher uh spot i'm gonna hold that right there while i get the belt set and uh we'll just keep the 45 tray off at the moment oh I didn't have it plugged in. To show you the power cord, I'll plug it back in. I just need the light. <clears throat> and there we go. You see it slides all the way down to the end. And you notice that the motor, the sound on the motor pretty much went away. Once the uh, belt got on it. I guess what I could do for you real quick is put a little just to help you see the RPMs. If you give me just a second. I'm going to get a piece of tape here. And I'm going to put that piece of tape on the tray. Full clutter on there. Full tray. Alright. And now just to kind of help you give a help give you a uh, an RPM count. You might be able to use the timing of the video. So, there you have it, a little shot from the back.